Before there was the Washington Wild Things, we had Pony Baseball, who's been instrumental and a keystone of our tourism promotion efforts for years in our county. And with a special announcement today, it's my pleasure to introduce Abe Key, President and CEO of Pony Baseball and Softball, and Bob Gregg, Chairman of Tournaments Inc. Gentlemen. Uh, somebody stole my notes. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, welcome to Pony Baseball and Softball International Headquarters here in Washington, Pennsylvania. For those of you that do not know, Pony League Baseball was founded here in Washington, Pennsylvania in 1951 with six original teams of 13 and 14-year-old baseball players. At the time, kids uh, stopped playing baseball at the age of 12, and there was nowhere for them to play until they started high school baseball. So a group of community and business leaders got together and decided they were going to form a league for 13 and 14 year old boys as a transition program from youth baseball to high school baseball. They had a contest at the local YMCA, came up with the slogan, Protect Our Neighborhood Youth, P-O-N-Y. We've changed that a little bit today and it means protect our nation's youth. But those attributes for, for youth baseball uh, are very, still very much dear to our hearts. Today, Pony League Baseball is found in all 50 states and more than 30 countries, and of course, as everybody knows, uh, Washington, Pennsylvania is home to the Pony League World Series. It's an honor and a privilege for us today to announce that this year we will be televising two games of the 2014 Pony League World Series, one on Saturday, uh, August 9th at 5 o'clock, and it'll be the defending champion Asia Pacific Zone versus the winner of the Caribbean and South Zone, and the championship game on Wednesday, uh, the 13th at 7.30 p.m. And this is all in thanks uh, and, and in part to uh, the county commissioners, Washington County Tourism Promotion Agency, the Chamber of Commerce, and uh, Tournaments Incorporated. This August will be my 30th year chairing uh, the Pony League World Series. Um, previous... My organization makes me put that list in the book every year, and the previous chairs had one or two years, and I said, yeah, that's because they were smarter than I was. Um, a couple of hot dogs at Shorty's got me hooked into this in 1984, and I, I can't find my way out. Um, seriously, I work with a tremendous board of uh, volunteers and then volunteers that man every single aspect of our operation. Uh, we have truly a diamond that's been hidden from many people for many, many years. Last year, through a marketing grant from the Tourism Promotion Agency, a lot of people within an hour and a half or two hours heard about, were invited to, and enjoyed the Pony League World Series for the first time ever. We heard from more people in the county that lived here their entire lives and said, I never knew this was here. That's one of the struggles of volunteer organizations, as all of you grant recipients understand. There's only so much that you can do. For years I've stood and thanked sponsors uh, at the field for their money because with people and money we can do anything. We can have a truly world-class event and show off our Sterling County to the whole world. And now with this partnership with uh, KDK Television, Pittsburgh CW, the Chamber of Commerce, the Tourism Agency, Pony Baseball, and World Series Tournaments Incorporated, that's exactly what we plan to do this August. Thank you very much.